And Ghana's government says it's looking at ways to make the country a better business destination and attract more international investors. Now, this comes after Ghana dropped four places in Forbes magazine's latest global list of the best countries to do business in. Now, Ghana ranked about 94th out of 161 countries. Here's CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai reporting from Accra. Pitching his country to the world. For seven years, Nicolas Borte has been providing IT solutions to companies in Ghana. He believes Ghana is perfectly placed to help his business thrive. Ghana is a growing country, and any growing country needs technology to grow faster. And we, as a tech company, it, it helps us because we're getting multinational companies to come in. We have local firms that are also um, expanding. However, Nicholas is worried about the burden of taxes on his growing business. Businesses pay corporate tax of around 25%. In 2017, the government abolished at least 11 taxes to promote growth in the private sector. Ghana's political stability has made it one of the safest places to do business in Africa. Multinational companies enjoy up to 10 years of corporate tax incentives. The country has been implementing this policy for many years to attract foreign investments. But, despite this improved business environment, Forbes ranked Ghana four places lower, bringing it to 94th out of 161 countries. Something the government is surprised about. We one would wonder why on the Forbes uh, we would rather drop from 90 to 94th position, uh, particularly when uh, you've had um, a lot more improvement in the macroeconomy. The government is reviewing its policies in hopes of pushing Ghana into the top 20 countries. We are aggressively looking at expanding our infrastructure because it's critical in moving our economy from one that was predicated on the export of raw materials and resources to one which are adding value. And if you look at some of our policies that we've actually initiated, like the One District One Factory, it's the first stepping stone to industrializing a nation. World Bank data shows Ghana is doing well in West Africa when it comes to the ease of doing business. But some business analysts say more still needs to be done. Look at indicators like um, interest rates. The pricing on the cost of doing business is still high. If interest rates are still in the double digits beyond 20, it's way high. Inflation should come to as low as 6, 7. We should be able to strive for that. And so for us to get to the point where we are ranking below 50, we may have to be a little more aggressive on our macroeconomics. So this one will replace. Over the last few years, Ghana's currency has depreciated, making it more expensive for Nicolas to do business internationally. He hopes for a turnaround this year to allow his company to flourish. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana. You're watching.